What we're going to be doing is uh, designing a football helmet. Okay. So what you need to do is come up with the graphic um, design or the graphic image that's going to be on that football helmet. Got that? So we're going to first. You're going to have to need an idea. Now, for example, this is the, a professional football team, the Denver Broncos. So what it is, obviously. It's not a realistic horse, it's a stylized horse, okay? The horse has been turned into geometric shapes and it's very angular and very stylized, okay? So what you're gonna do is come up with some kind of a subject. So for example, let's say you were gonna do a horse, you might find images of horses, and then what you have to do is somehow stylize that horse so that you could turn it into a graphic image and reduce it to just a few colors. Got that? So that's how, for example, now, the one on the left, the upper left, that is the Carolina Panthers. And I just looked up uh, Panther logos and just found several logos. Now, you're not going to uh, find someone else's logo and then just draw it and call it your own. You're going to have to design your own. But you can get ideas by seeing different artists and their variations of those logos. You guys got that? So, for example, I just looked up Panthers and I found several different versions of Panthers. Now, some of these might work really well on a helmet and some might not work on a helmet. Okay? Now, for example, let's say you like a tiger. Now, that tiger on the right is the, Bengal, is the uh, Cincinnati Bengal tiger, Bengals. And, but they don't have that logo on their helmet. Because I think at a distance, it might be hard to tell that it's a tiger. Okay? But their helmet, it looks like this. So what they've done is they've taken that tiger concept and applied it to their helmet in a creative way. So you can do this as well, okay? So what you're gonna do is come up with an idea. For example, the Minnesota Vikings, that's their logo, but their helmet looks different. It's got a horn on it. And if you notice, the one on the left is their old helmet and the one on the right is the new helmet. And it's really not that different. The only difference is some extra lines right here that give this more of a three-dimensional look as opposed to this horn which looked pretty flat looking okay so um, here here is the um, the Baltimore Ravens and they've got two logos now the one on the upper right is on what's on their helmet now what's wrong with the one below it I think it's a good logo but what's wrong with it it's dark and I think at a distance it would be hard to tell what that is on a helmet. So one of the, the ideas you have to have behind your logo, you have to be able to tell what it is at a distance. So not only you have to design a logo, but it's got to look good close up and it's got to look good far away, okay? Because I think this particular uh, raven on a helmet wouldn't look that good, okay? Um, this is the Clemson Tigers. They just have a tiger paw. Now this is the... Uh, the uh, who is this? The the Patriots, the New England Patriots. This used to be their logo on their helmet, and they've since modified it and changed it to this. I think this is pretty slick looking, pretty clever, and it's really identifiable from a distance. This one from a distance is a little bit hard to tell what it is. Now these are just other Patriot logos that I found. Of these three, which one do you think would look good on a helmet? One, two, or three? I think three. You can tell it's a man. He's got that tri-cornered hat style. Uh, this maybe at a distance would be hard to see. And since he's straight on, I think that might be a little confusing. Even though I think these are awesome logos, these other ones. But just maybe not suitable for a helmet. Okay? The Miami Dolphins. This was their old logo on the upper left. And their new logo is on the right. Okay? The um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Their old logo on the left. This is their new logo on the right. Uh, what, what problem might you have with the old logo? It, not be, besides maybe you just don't like it, but what might be one of the issues with that old logo? Yeah. Maybe too, many, too much detail from a distance. Um, I think the orange skin or the gold or I guess almost yellow skin on the orange, next to the orange, those colors are too close to being the same color. And from a distance, I think it would be hard to tell what that is. So one of the ideas with your logo is you have to come up with an image that's high contrast. Um, these are the Milwaukee Admirals, and I just thought this was kind of interesting. Is our society got really mean? You know, look at, look at the old logo 
to the new logo, then the next one, then the next one. Now we're to this one. And this guy was kind of friendly, and this guy looks evil. The Milwaukee Buck went from that to this to this. Okay. Now, would these work on a helmet? I don't think so. There's too much detail in them. Okay. Um, this is the uh, the Chargers, San Diego Chargers. Uh, here we have. This is a hockey team, and uh, it's called the Penguins. But I really think it's a pretty clever logo. Very stylized. Obviously, the Penguins put into this triangle shape, which you could do. Okay. You can't. You're going to come up with a mythical team. Okay. A mythical idea, and the team can have a city and a name, or it could just be the name. Okay, like for example, let's say that this was the Venice Penguins. The city was Venice, and the logo was the Penguins. They've incorporated a V and a penguin in the same logo. So that's up to you if you want to do that. Okay, uh, Iowa State, they're the Cyclones, and all I did was this. I think it's an awesome looking logo for a t shirt, it's really clever, really well done. But for a helmet, not so good. So what I did is I just took the same logo and made it smaller so you could see what it might look like from a distance. And I think from a distance, it would be confusing. Okay? Um, the Milwaukee Wave, I don't think that would work well on a helmet. Now, the reason I put the Milwaukee Wave in there, most people think of logos as, um, or uh, mascots as an animal or a person of some sort, like the Pirates or the Eagles or something. It doesn't have to be that. It could be an object. It could be weather, like the wave, you know. It could be an object, like the hammers, okay. Could be just about anything. I think this one's really clever. This is a, a hockey team. They're the Hartford Whalers out of Hartford, Connecticut. But I, I just think it's really clever. They took an H, a W, and then they included that tail whale in there. So as far as a drawing, it's not really complicated. But as far as an idea, it's really clever. So you can go that route as well, okay? Uh, the Detroit Lions has a silhouette of a lion, and so that silhouette stands out a little bit better. They put sort of a white outline around that island, uh, around the lion on that silver helmet, okay? Now, you're also gonna be incorporating the colors of the helmet and the color of the face mask, okay? So these are some from quite a few years ago. This was the crabs. So you notice the face mask uh, goes along with the logo of the crab. Uh, this one, I think, has too many colors. So it, this was the alien, so they came up with this kind of clever logo. But I think uh, you've got green and blue and pink and dark blue and then a yellow face mask. Too many colors. Too many colors in that design. Okay? This is the, gal uh, the spaceships, I believe. Here's the galaxy. Now, some of these helmets, if they're well designed, we may make them into real helmets. So you can see the ones I have here on the carts. So what I do is I take them to DNM Auto Body and they usually will paint these for us. I don't usually, usually I just take a couple logos that I think are really good, we'll paint the helmet and then we'll transfer the logo into a decal and put it on the helmet. So this was one that a student did called the Galaxy. I think it looks like a pretty slick looking helmet, okay? Uh, here's one, can you tell what this is? Beaver. A beaver, they were supposed to be the rats, okay? now. I don't, I think it's kind of stylized. It's obviously sort of a mechanical, I don't know, alien looking rat, but at a distance, can't tell what it is. So I don't think it's a successful logo. The frogs, this isn't bad. It's just a poorly drawn frog, okay? So think about that if you're gonna use a silhouette. Octopuses, I've had quite a few kids get octopuses. Look at the different ways that, well, actually the one on the left is a squid. This, you can use the entire helmet as a design. So here's an octopus where they use the whole helmet as a design. And here's another one. So these are four versions of an octopus or a squid, okay? A shark, here's a shark. Here's another version of a shark, okay? Uh, here's a swordfish. I think that's pretty cool looking. Here's a blowfish. The kings, I think this is pretty clever. Having, instead of the logo being just on the side, it wraps around the whole helmet. And we're gonna do these a little bit better so they look more three-dimensional. The geckos or lizards. The cyclops. Now, the kid had an idea for a cyclops. And then I said, if you're going to do a cyclops, it's a one-eyed thing, right? So why don't you put one eye in the front? So we came up with that logo. And the logo on the helmet is in the front of the helmet. And then he came up with a logo here using the word cyclops. 
And even in the O in Cyclops is sort of a sort of a miniature logo, which is another eyeball. So it's clever. It's it's pretty ambitious in more than one way. It's it's a cool looking font that's uh, specifically designed to have a Cyclops eye in there. And then this was the eye that was on the helmet. Okay, the turtle shells. The storm isn't that clever, and that one was made into a helmet. So I even like the little guy that's getting electrocuted down there. So he's got the storm, and then uh, instead of a stripe on the helmet, there's a little bolt in the settle in the helmet. So that was made into a helmet. Um, these are some, you know, uh, either high, um, professional or um, college teams. Uh, thinking outside the box, just because you've never seen a helmet that had two colors doesn't mean you can't make one. Okay, so you're thinking outside the box. And I just find helmets, and I found these helmets, I thought these were pretty clever. A helmet that looks like a watermelon helmet that looks like a brain. And I actually had a kid that made a helmet that looked like a brain. And he didn't see this. He came up with this idea on his own. So the whole helmet is a big brain. Here's a toucan. Um, here's one where they use the whole side of the helmet. Now, the uh, Philadelphia Eagles has a wing on their helmet. And using that same idea, these were some ones that students came up with. This is the dragons. This is the snails. Uh, this was the, this was wasn't finished off, but it was the monarch. So in the back of the helmet was a monarch's body, and then the wings are on the sides. This were the I think the raptors or something like that. Um, this is just two versions of a vampire that some different kids did. Giraffes. This was called the mercenaries, and uh, so he has this grenade with an M in it. And then he was going to have a camouflage hand. Now, I, I thought that one was pretty cool. So I took it to get painted, but they said, oh, we can't do the camouflage thing. That's going to take too long. We don't want to spend that much time on the helmet. So instead, we went with kind of an army color. And then on the top of the helmet, instead of a stripe, we have like a tread from like a, arm, like a, tra like a, a tank or something like that. Okay. So, and then he ended up doing the logo in a camouflage instead of just the logo in a green here. Okay. Uh, this is called the horrors. This is the cockroaches, so that the helmet's covered with cockroaches. These are the ones on the left, I believe, were the ninjas or something like that. So, or the rising sun, it was a Japanese design. And then that one we had painted into a helmet, which looks pretty cool. They also said they wouldn't do one like this again because it's too hard for them to paint. Uh, I can't remember what that one is. This was the chiefs, pretty cool. The bees, the painters. The North Stars, the koalas, no, not koalas, panda, okay, devils. This one's cool in that we had a whale on the, you can't see, but from the front, the tail matched up with a logo that was the same, so it looks like a whale tail in front of the helmet. This was the zippers, the flaming donuts. This kid thought he was funny. Anyhow, it was okay. I don't like, I think it's, it's okay. The bats, that's pretty cool. And it said bats in front of the helmet. The phoenix, the bombs, uh, the griffins. Isn't that cool? That is the um, goblins. This was called the power. And what's neat in Illustrator, you can quickly switch colors and try different color schemes. I think the one on the right looks better because of the high contrast colors they use as opposed to the one on the left where you've got like kind of a darker, I don't know, mauve color with red on it. Those two colors aren't the great. Skeletons. This was the pilots. So she had a leather helmet with goggles on it. The uh, battleships. The jalapenos. The Scarecrows, I think this is clever, but I think at a distance, it would be hard to tell what it is. I can't remember if this is the superheroes or something like that. Now, this looks like it's actually painted on the helmet. The logo is placed over the top of a photo of a helmet, okay? That was the miners. Here's more animals. Isn't this cool? I don't know what this was. This is supposed to be like the, the robot brain or something. Pretty slick. So you got a big range of what you can do. Now, obviously, if you wanted to do this, we wouldn't be able to do that 
uh, make that into a helmet because it would be too hard to get that painted all over the helmet. And also, you, a sticker, it's hard for a sticker to sit on a rounded surface. Okay, so if the sticker's really big, it will get all wrinkled. This one was pushing it. This one we actually made into a helmet, and there it is. Isn't that cool? This one is a photo. This is her version of it, but here's the real helmet. Okay? Here is a photo or a computer version, and there's the real helmet. Okay? This was for Phil and Chill. This was uh, the lions, the frogs, pirates, the ruse, as in kangaroos. That's pretty cool. Uh, this girl here, she came up with a hyena. And then she just tried all different color versions of that hyena. And we ended up doing the helmet and she decided to do it in two colors, orange and blue. And the helmet was cut down the middle or split down the middle in one color and the other color was on the other side. So on one side the helmet's orange with a blue hyena, the other side it's blue with an orange hyena. And so was the face mask split in two colors. So I think that's pretty cool looking. Uh, this is some kind of dragons. Uh, we'll just whip through these. The Aztecs. I like this one. I think that's pretty cool. Her idea here was to have the Crusaders. So she has this um, knight's helmet in the shape of a C, and then she wanted to put a sword down the middle of the helmet, which I think would have been really cool. The lemurs. Oh, another octopus. Prisoners. The white wolves. She did this because her name was White Wolf, at least the White Wolf. Lions, red pandas, cat, goldfish, the sea slugs. Uh, this one she wanted to do, these are the Olympians, so she has this like wreath on the helmet. This one looks like the Aztecs as well, it's got this sort of Aztec design. I think that's, I don't know what that was. This was the Frankensteins. Okay, so get the idea. This one I think is a great looking drawing, but from a distance, I don't think you'd be able to tell what it was. Okay, uh, she went beyond and said, I want to do one that actually has ears on it. The ninjas, radiation, jokers. Seahorses, ocelots. I think this is really clever, isn't it? The elves, it's got an E and a little ear like an elf. And the geeks. Okay, I'm not sure if this was the claws or something. So, with this is what you're gonna do. You need to uh, come up with an idea. You're gonna do drawings of that idea. Okay, sketches and drawings of the idea. Then, we're gonna take that idea onto the computer. And we're going to use Illustrator to make the edges really sharp, make the colors really brilliant, and we're actually going to, on the computer, then design what the total helmet's going to look like. Got that? So the first thing, and probably the hardest thing,